God bless you. I want to encourage someone that have kids that may be going to a public school system and they are being pressured by their peers, uh, not pressured to turn away from your faith, uh, not pressured to not go to church anymore, uh, but pressured with discouragement. We live in a time and an age now that we need to encourage our Christian kids that are going to public school um, and encourage them to stand on uh, the word, stand on uh, their faith and continue to live for God regardless if their peers are not. Uh, regardless if their peers don't believe, regardless if their peers are pressuring them uh, with the spirit of discouragement uh, as they begin to stand on uh, the word of God, stand on the things of God. So I want to just encourage you parents to always encourage your kids to keep up the good work, to stand for the Lord. Uh, some of you may even have to lay hands on your kids and just speak the word of God, speak encouraging words to them. Uh, even though we believe and we trust them that they will continue to stand on the word of God, but still, discouragement does not discriminate. Uh, I want you to understand that discouragement do not discriminate. So it can happen to uh, the rich and famous. It can happen to the poor. Uh, discouragement can knock on anyone's door. I've personally experienced it uh, about four years ago uh, myself. And uh, sitting up under the word of God, hearing the word of God, uh, receiving the word of God in my spirit, uh, kind of remove um, remove uh, the cloudiness uh, uh, within my vision. So um, sitting up under the word of God, meditating on the word of God, receiving the word in my spirit, uh, remove the cloud that was kind of over my head. And I was able to see um, the sun shine again. Uh, through the word of God, through encouraging words, uh, through Pastor um, um, and Dr. Dara Belinda Scott, New Spirit Revival Center, Cleveland, Ohio. So I experienced discouragement firsthand. So I want someone to know that uh, maybe your child is experiencing uh, discouragement, but we have to encourage them. We have to pray for them. We have to lay hands on them. This may not be the case. I'm not saying that this is the case, but I'm just saying uh, encourage them. Uh, especially when they come and share some um, sensitive uh, information to you as uh, uh, pertaining to their peers. So we want to always encourage our kids to stand up for the Lord, uh, regardless of who's standing uh, uh, and who's not standing. All right. God bless.